God says, I will bless you. Genesis 12, 1-3 The Lord had said to Abram, Go from your country, your people, and your father's household to the land I will show you. I will make you into a great nation, and I will bless you. I will make your name great, and you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and whoever curses you I will curse, and all peoples on earth will be blessed through you. Leaving behind those people who are dear to us, and the country where we were born is a challenge, especially if we don't know anybody in that place. But not with Abram, whom God has called to live and obeyed him. He trusted God not only because of his close relationship with him, but also God promised to bless him. This blessing whose fulfillment extends not only to his descendants, but also to the kingdom and the salvation of Israel. His magnificent reputation and legacy were fulfilled materially in Genesis 13 verse 2 and Genesis 24 verse 35. Spiritually also in Genesis 21 verse 22 and socially in Genesis chapter 23 verse 6. Abram's commission was sevenfold. First, I will make you into a great nation. Second, I will bless you. Third, I will make your name great. A fourth, you will be a blessing. And the fifth, I will bless those who bless you. And the sixth, whoever curses you, I will curse. And the last one, the seventh, all peoples on earth will be blessed through you. When God says, I will bless you to Abram, he blessed him. And when God says to us that he will bless us, he will bless us for sure. When God says that we will be the head and not the tail, and we will be above and not beneath, He really mean it. Just like when He made promise to Abram after His total obedience to Him. But the most important blessing ever to be made available to all of us is the blessing of eternal life through Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless everyone.